Let's see how to add decimal numbers. The first example is 4.2 and 3.6. When we add any two numbers, say for example whole numbers, what we do? We write the numbers one below the other so that their place values come in the same column. So we are going to do the same thing for decimals also. How do we ensure that the place values come in the same column? We align the decimal points. Now you can see here what I have done is that the decimal points of 4.2 and 3.6 are aligned. Aligned means they are in the same line, they are lined up. And I have shown that using an arrow. When you actually do the addition, you don't draw an arrow like this. This arrow is just to show that the decimal points are in the same line. Once we do that, the next thing we do is that we forget that the decimal points are there. Assume that the decimal points are not there and simply add the numbers like we do for the whole numbers. So let's add 6 plus 2 equals 8, 4 plus 3 equals 7. From right to left we add. Once the addition is done, then in the sum, in the answer, we write the decimal point directly below the decimal points. So our answer is 7.8. The next example is 12.5 and 14.23. Again, write the numbers such that the decimal points are aligned. Now if you look at these two numbers, you will see that the length of the numbers is not same. In the first number, there is only one digit after the decimal point, whereas in the second number, there are two digits. So what we can do is, we can put in extra zero at the end of the first number to adjust the length. Now we know that in case of decimal numbers, if we write extra zeros at the end, it does not change the value of the decimal. So it is okay to write that zero there. What happens now is that since the length of both the numbers is same, it becomes convenient, it becomes easy to add the numbers. Again, let's assume that the decimal point is not there and add the numbers normally. Let's add start from the rightmost column and go towards left. So 0 plus 3 equals 3, 5 plus 2 equals 7, 4 plus 2 equals 6 and 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now that the addition is done, we write the decimal point in the sum directly below the decimal points. The next example is 9.655 and 7.704. I have written the numbers such that the decimal points are aligned. Let's start adding from the rightmost column. 5 plus 4 is 9, 5 plus 0 is 5, 6 plus 7 equals 13. Now 13 is a two digit number. So what do we do? We write down 3 and 1 is carried over. So in the next column, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 7 equals 17. Now that the addition is done, let's write down the decimal point directly below the decimal points. The next example is 6.66 and 7.777. Now the first step is done, the decimal points are aligned. Let's do the second step, we need to adjust the length of the number. So to adjust the length, let's put extra zero at the end of the first number, the first decimal. Now let's add normally from the rightmost column, zero plus seven equals seven, six plus seven equals 13. Write down three, one is carried over, Six plus one seven plus seven fourteen. Write down four one carried over. Six plus one plus seven equals fourteen. 
and in the sum write the decimal point directly below the decimal points of the numbers that you added. Now after learning these rules, you can apply these rules to any number of decimals. Not only two, you can add four decimals, ten decimals, twenty decimals using the same rules. So in the next example, which is our last example, we are going to add three numbers. So these are the three numbers here. 12.856, 15.32 and 5.008. The decimal points are aligned. If you look at the second number, its length is smaller. So let's put in extra zero at the end. Let's add normally from rightmost column to left. 6 plus 8 equals 14. Write down 4. 1 is carried over. 5 plus 1 plus 2 equals 8, 8 plus 3 equals 11, write down 1, 1 carried over, 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 5, that equals 13, write down 3, 1 carried over, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. The addition is done. Let's write the decimal point directly below the decimal points of the numbers that we added. So the answer is 33.184 or we can also call it as 33 and 184 thousandths.